Okay then guys, this is a question on Prim's algorithm, the use of Prim's algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree as applied to a matrix, which we're going to have a go at. Now this is interesting, this question, because if we draw a line down the middle, we notice this matrix is symmetrical. So what I'm actually going to do in this case is I'm just going to do all my workings on the bottom half and I can literally just kind of ignore all these numbers. So I'm just going to cross those out just so they don't interfere with the workings. Okay, so first step, what do we do? So if we look at the question, it asks us to start at vertex A. So I circle that, I scan the row, and there's a 5, a 3, an 8, and a 2. And I circle the least value. So I circle the 2, and then I cross that row out, and then I circle there. So at this stage, I know that A to E has a weight of 2. And then, where do we go? So we scan again. So the rows that are circled are A and E. So I have to scan down both those rows and look for the least value. So I've got a 5, 3, and an 8. And there's actually nothing in row E. So that's very straightforward. I circle the 3. I cross that row out, and that's the C there. So I now know that A to C is joined with a weight of 3. Then I need to do my next step. So I have to scan all the rows that I've circled. So if you just go through and look at the values, I scan A, and there's a 5 and an 8. There's a 7 in C, and as we've already said, there's absolutely nothing in E. So I choose the least, so that's 5. And I cross that row out and circle B. So I know that A to B is 5. And the process from here just carries on. So I scan all the circled rows. So that's A and that's B and that's C and that's E. And I'm looking for things that aren't crossed out. And there's not much left here. There's literally an 8 there and a 7 there. So I circle the least, cross out, and circle there. And I'm done. So I know that C to D is 7. And the final thing the question asks me to do is to draw the minimum spanning tree, which is what I should do. No, so I can just say A to E is 2, and A to C is 3, A to B is 5, and C to D, I'll just draw that a bit like that, is 7, and so that's my minimum spanning tree, and then I have to write down the weight. So I add them all up, so it's 7 add 3 is 10, and I've got 5 and 2, which gives me a weight of 17, and just to literally finish it off, I'll underline my answer, and job done.